Tiberius was the second Roman emperor, and highly successful military leader, and a sensible civic leader, who tried to restrain Rome's out-of-control budget. He was adopted son of Roman Emperor, Augustus. However, he didn't follow his father's ideas and projects, but rather was listening to his mother, Livia Drusilla. He was one of Rome's most successful general, his conquests of Pannonia, Dalmatia, Rhaetia and parts of Germania, laid the foundation for the northern frontier. After the death of his son, Drusus Julius Caesar, Tiberius became more reclusive and remote. He removed himself from Rome, and left administration largely in the hands of his controversial prefects, Sejanus and Sutorius Marco. When Tiberius died, he was succeeded by his grand-nephew, and adopted grandson, Caligula. Tiberius was born in Rome on the Palatine Hall, to the Roman quester, Tiberius Claudius Nero, and his wife Livia Drusilla. In 38 BC, Livia was forced to divorce Tiberius Nero, to become the wife of the first Roman Emperor Augustus. Tiberius Nero died when Tiberius was nine years old. In 29 BC, he rode in the triumphal chariot along with his adoptive father Augustus, in celebration of the defeat of Antony and Cleopatra at Actium. The marriage of Livia and Augustus, presented an opportunity for Tiberius to be lined for possible succession to the imperial throne, but at the time of the marriage, he was neither Augustus' favorite nor the next in line. Augustus had groomed his two grandsons, Gaius Caesar and Lucius Caesar, by his troublesome daughter Julia, to succeed him. Emperor Augustus became gravely ill, and his possible death threatened to plunge the Roman world into chaos again. At the age of 17, Tiberius entered politices under Augustus' direction, receiving the position of quaestor, and was granted the right to stand for election as praetor and consul, five years in advance of the age required by law. Tiberius married Vipsania Agrippina, the daughter of Augustus' close friend, and most famed general, Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa. Tiberius was appointed as consul, and around this same time, his som Drusus Julius Caesar was born. In 11 BC, Augustus forced Tiberius to divorce Vipsania, and marry his daughter Julia the Elder, who was also the widow of Agrippa. Tiberius hate his new wife, but her reputation forced Augustus to exile her. She met her death by starvation, while Tiberius did not mourn the death of Julia. Tiberius's first military campaign was against the Cantabrians. He then went to Armenia, where he restored Tigranes to the throne. He collected missing Roman standards from the Parthian court. Tiberius was sent to govern the long-haired Gauls, and fought in the Alps, Pannonia and Germany. He subjugated various Germanic peoples, and took 40,000 of them as prisoners. He then settled them in homes in Gaul. He was ready to accept command of the Eastern Roman forces, but instead, at what would seem to be a height of power, he abruptly retired to the islands of Rhodes. The precise motives for Tiberius' withdrawal are unclear. Augustus had adopted Julia's sons by Agrippa, Gaius and Lucius, and seemed to be moving them along the same political path, that both Tiberius and Drusus had walked. With Tiberius' departure, succession rested solely on Augustus' two young grandsons, Lucius and Gaius Caesar. The situation became more uncertain in 2 AD, with the death of Lucius. Augustus with some pressure from Livia, allowed Tiberius to return to Rome as a private citizen. In 4 AD, Gaius was killed in Armenia, and Augustus had no other choice but to turn to Tiberius. Tiberius was adopted as full son and heir, and in turn he was required to adopt his nephew Germanicus, the son of his brother Drusus and Augustus' niece, Antonia Minor. With his adoption, Tiberius received tribunician power as well, as a share of Augustus' imperium, something that even Marcus Agrippa may never had. Tiberius was given tribunician power for three years, during which time his responsibilities would be to pacify Germany, and suppress the Illyrian Revolt. The German pacification ended in disaster in the Battle of the Teutoburg Forest, when an alliance of Germanic tribes destroyed three Roman legions, and their auxiliaries led by Publius Quinctilius Varus. Tiberius did achieve complete submission of the Illyrians, for which he was voted a triumph. He postponed the triumph celebration out of defense, to Varus' disaster in Germany. 
As a result, the consuls awarded Tiberius joint control of the provinces with Augustus. When Augustus died, Tiberius convened the Senate to read Augustus' will, naming Tiberius his successor. Tiberius called on the Praetorians to provide him a bodyguard, but didn't take the title of emperor immediately, nor even his inherited title of Augustus. In his mind, his assumption of the imperial throne was threatened by another, Germanicus Julius Caesar, Tiberius' adopted son, and the true choice of many of the generals. Germanicus, however silenced those outspoken opponents of Tiberius, and voiced his support of the new emperor. Problems arose quickly for the new princeps. The Roman legions posted in Pannonia and Germania, had not been paid the bonuses, promised them by Augustus. Germanicus and Tiberius's son Drusus Julius Caesar, were dispatched with a small force to end the uprising, and bring the legions back in line. Germanicus had managed to deal a significant blow to Rome's enemies, end an uprising of Tupes, and return lost standards to Rome, actions that increased the fame and legend of the already very popular Germanicus with the Roman people. When Germanicus died suddenly after a brief illness, his widow Agrippina the Elder returned to Rome, believing Tiberius had ordered Piso, the former governor of Syria to kill Germanicus. The death of Germanicus brought a change to Tiberius' personality, he became increasingly cruel towards those who were respected of plotting against him. The rigors of running an empire, combined with the interference of Livia were too much for Tiberius, and he moved to the Isle of Capri, leaving the daily routine to his advisor and prefect, Lucius Aelius Sejanus. Tiberius's son, Julius Caesar Drusus was married to a woman named Lavilia. Sejanus who saw Drusus his rival, began having an affair with his wife. Eventually this led to Drusus by poisoning. By this time, Sejanus had built the Praetorian Guard into a sizable force of 12,000. He embarked on a series of treason trials, to weed out any possible opposition, many Romans lived in fear. Livia's mother Antonia Minor, wrote the emperor and informed him of their intention, to murder him and young Caligula. Tiberius hurried to Rome, and appeared before the Senate, and Sejanus was lured to the Senate. With the little debate he was found guilty, and condemned to death. His sons and followers were also executed, while Lavilia was starved to death, under the careful watch of her own mother. After Sejanus's fall, Tiberius' withdrawal from Rome was complete, the empire continued to run under the inertia of the bureaucracy established by Augustus, rather than through the leadership of the princeps. Tiberius died in Misenum at the age of 77. Tacitus relates that, the emperor appeared to have stopped breathing, and that Caligula was being congratulated on his succession to the empire.